Hungry? Let's get ready to make a delicious burrito with things we already have on hand. Well, I've got some leftover ham and also an old hash brown that I made the other day. Uh, let's grab out some sour cream. Those are always great on a burrito. Um, because of those ingredients, let's choose eggs and make it more of a breakfast burrito. Uh, let's see, here we need definitely cheese and tortillas. I like flour tortillas for a big burrito. Uh, let's put the corn tortillas back. Let's grab some tomatoes for a bit of freshness. And we've got almost everything. Oh yeah, a little spice. Let's get those jalapeno peppers. Okay, I think we've got everything we need. Let's just take a look. We've got our leftovers already done and ready to be used. We've got eggs as the main thing, and then we've got all the things for a burrito. So let's get the tortilla onto the grill, and then slice up our leftover hash brown. And I wanna make it kinda nice and small so it'll fit in there nicely and also get lots of good brown bits when we cook that up. And then let's also do the same size for the ham. We'll just cube that up as well. Okay, all set. Let's put that over there, flip over the tortilla. Ooh, it's hot this time. Flip that over and get that other side um, crisping up a bit. Okay, we've got our pan on high. Let's get some butter in there to fry up the leftovers and bring them back to life. So a little bit of butter on there, got the hash browns in there, cooking on high. And we'll just let those sizzle and get some nice brown bits. Mm, smells delicious. Okay, this is now ready, even maybe a little over ready. Um, so let's um, put on sour cream and tomatoes. We can go ahead and make this ahead so that we can put the hot ingredients right on top of that. Um, so now we've got our tortilla waiting for our nice hot ingredients. So let's get those flipped over again. And now, uh, since the ham's already cooked, we can just heat it up, brown it up a little bit in the pan. Um, we'll toss those in now. And then once those are browned, I'm just pushing those over to the side because we want to get the eggs in but we don't want to put the eggs on top of um, those other ingredients. So since the eggs are coming in, we'll turn the pan down and that will um, make sure they don't cook too quickly. Of course, the pan's still hot, so they'll first sizzle up, um, but it will give me a little bit more time to just go ahead and put those ingredients on as the rest of the egg cooks. So I've just, Toss those in and then I kind of do a real country style scramble right there in the pan. Now that it's getting a little bit firmer, I'll put all those ingredients on the top and they'll get stuck in there and become one delicious combination. Um, now, I haven't yet put those jalapenos on. Let me get those in. Need a bit of spice. And let's melt the cheese on the top. Great. We're ready. I'll just uh, take this over now to the waiting tortilla. Put that on there. And now let's just fold it up. Fold up the bottom. And then take one side and wrap it all the way over. Boy, this one's full, a little over full perhaps. And then tuck it in there and give it a good roll so the seam is on the bottom. And voila a wonderful burrito made from leftovers in the fridge, delicious.